Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavendra Mishra and in this video, we are going to access grid console while Selenium grid server is running remotely on Ubuntu LTS installed in Windows 11 using VirtualBox. Right? So let us go to the virtual machine. Okay, using this VirtualBox. So I'm going to click on show and which has taken me to the virtual machine and I'm inside the download folder wherein I have downloaded Selenium Server 4.1616 jar. Okay, so I'm gonna open the terminal and uh, run this jar. Java minus jar and the jar name is Selenium and I'm gonna run this grid on the standalone mode. Okay, see it has got some IP and uh, it is running perfectly fine. I'm gonna access this using the browser. If you see, okay, I have uh, closed this, so I will be running it again. So just before that, let me launch the browser. Start new session, and I'm gonna click it again. Okay, so I'm going to execute the same command again, uh, which will actually give me this URL for the grid, Selenium grid server. Okay, Selenium standalone grid server. So using which I can see the grid console. If you see, Selenium grid is accessible. Okay, so we can see the session and since we are not running any uh, tests so we get this no running or queued session at the moment okay but we have got the console but at times when you are trying to you know access the same url from here you will see it is not reachable or inaccessible it is not accessible at all okay so how to how to access the grid console how to access this particular you know session or this particular grid console from your host machine from your laptop okay this is the virtual machine for uh, sure we know that okay which we have hosted in uh, oracle vm virtual box okay so this machine is hosted uh, in virtual box which is in windows uh, 11 okay so i can say like uh, if if i have if I am able to access this uh, particular, you know, IP, then why not uh, this is accessible over here? So this site cannot be reached. So at times when you see this error, be sure that it is there is some issue. There is some issue with the network itself. So how to resolve that error? So now, uh, now let us go and see what kind of you know IP it get and what kind of you know settings are enabled on this particular you know VM. So right after installation of that uh, Ubuntu LTS 22.04.3 ISO, you may see this error uh, when you actually start the Selenium grid on the Ubuntu server. Okay. And when you are trying to access that uh, Selenium grid console from the, uh, from your laptop or from your host VM. So to resolve this issue, you can go to the virtual box menu item over here. So you can see file, machine, view, input, devices, help. You can go to the machine and go to the setting and just go to the network. And what you have to do? So you have to, uh, you know, change this NAT address, right? Okay. Uh, just before that, let me just, uh, you know, change or see that. see the network okay what kind of you know uh, network we have here what kind of ip uh, addresses so so you can see right ipv4 method is uh, set to automatic so we are getting the ip addresses from the dscp server okay and here and there is a uh, there is no ip uh, yeah so ipv4 uh, server is set to this one okay with and that setting is set to NAT basically. Okay. 
so that setting is set to NAT. So uh, if you try to you know access the VM from outside, so suppose at times when you are trying to you know access this VM from outside with the uh, NAT enabled, okay. So you will see the IP of the host file. So that has nothing to do uh, with the virtual box basically. That is how a uh, NAT works. Okay, so it will not let you you know access this particular you know IP from the outside. Okay, so which is why I mean it says uh, this site cannot be reached. So at times when you see this error, you have to go. Okay, let me open one more session. So and uh, let's see the IP. Yeah, so at uh, here it is showing 10.0.2.15 and we are not able to access this from the outside. So what we have to do, we have to go back to this machine settings network. Okay, inside setting, go to the network and change this attached to NAT to bridge adopter. Okay, and go to the advanced and see if it is set to all. Okay, so now here, we have changed the network adapter to bridge adapter, bridged adapter. Okay, and we have set it to allow all. Okay, this mod is set to allow all. And now, now click on OK. Second setting has been saved. And now let us run this again. Let me close this instance, which is running. So I'll go here again and what I'll do, I will run this again. Okay, so it is already running. So I'm going to close this or what I can do, I can just terminate this. Okay, so what you can do, you can run this net stat tul pn command and you will get the port number which you can kill. Okay. So you can see this particular uh, port is occupied by this PID. So I'm going to kill this 3582. Okay. Now this particular you know, port is free. So I can run that command again. Java minus jar selenium server. Okay. And see the IP has been changed after you set it to the uh, bridged adopter. Okay. And now, now uh, you can uh, try accessing this from the outside. Okay. So let me just So when we are making the ne uh, network connection setting inside the uh, VM setting bridged, so there is a checkbox for this. We have already you know checked that, and that will make the VM work like it. It is actually real, okay? So with that statement, which have, let me open this and access the grid here. So locally I can access, and now let me open another tab and access this particular grid console okay from outside see from the from my vm i'm able to now access the selenium grid server okay so that is how you can access the grid console while selenium grid server is running remotely on the ubuntu lts so that's it from this video and I hope you have liked the explanation and learned from this video. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and also share the feedback in comment section. I will see you in next video. Thank you for watching and keep learning.